I'm so sorry about that, guys. So it looks like Matrix, or not Matrix, <laughs> uh, Facebook is wanting to share the wrong screen. But now that you guys can actually see the screen, we can go ahead and get started. So I apologize for that. Um, getting on and off. Now I know, and it won't happen again. <laughs> okay. So um, we're going to go ahead now. I'm in Matrix. So um, now I mentioned that you can uh, do the auto email. You can do it uh, for maybe a client gateway or an auto email you had set up previously, uh, or you can set up a new one. So I'm going to show you guys how to do both. And again, I apologize for the hopping on and off. It shouldn't happen again. But this is a learning process for me too, um, as far as uh, sharing a screen as opposed to just my own face <laughs> or what what's around me. So uh, it's it's a it's definitely a learning process. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I'm in Matrix now. For people that have already set one up for in the past, um, I can go up to my Matrix, go down to Contacts, and I'm going to see all of my Matrix contacts there in that screen. <laughs> I see the comment. I'm going to buy drinks for everyone. Yeah, I kind of owe you guys now making you sign off and on. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so for contacts that I set up uh, in Tempo or Infusion or new contacts that I've created in Matrix, I'm going to see them all here, my Matrix contacts. So um, I see them all here in this, in this section. Now, um, if I've set up maybe a, a client gateway, again, as they were called in Tempo, or an auto notification, as they were called in Fusion, if I had set one up before, uh, it's not gone forever. It's not lost. Um, if you go to My Matrix Saved Searches, you'll actually see all of those searches were saved. Okay, So the contacts and the searches were all saved. Um, they're not lost, basically. Um, so. Um, somebody said they can't hear anything. Can other people hear me? If anyone can comment if they can hear me. Okay, so other people can hear me. Uh, Carol, thank you guys uh, for letting me know. <laughs> I was like, really, another little technical issue? <laughs> so I'm glad you guys can hear me. Uh, Carol, uh, maybe just turn up your um, your volume. She can't hear me. Why am I telling her that? Um, if maybe somebody can message her back just um, to maybe try and turn up her volume, that'd be awesome. And yes, the, uh, the answer is yes to the first part of your question, Michael, but I'll come back to see your question in just a minute. So again, um, if it was already created in Tempo or in Fusion, we have it here in Matrix still. Your contacts are still right here, um, and then your saved searches are there as well. So if I'm setting one up for uh, somebody that I had a client gateway or prospecting or auto notification or whatever it was you called it in previous platforms, I can come here. My matrix, saved searches. I'm going to see all my saved searches here. The ones that say imported were ones that I had set up in Tempo or Fusion, so they've been imported into matrix, right? Um, so let's say I wanted to set one up that was previously set up. So when I click on that search, I'm going to see the last time that search was run over here. I'll see the title of the search. Um, I'll also see the criteria. OK, um, so and if you see, uh, Michael, you're asking the question about integrating the map. You'll actually see where I had drawn on the map in Tempo or Fusion. So that's still a part of my criteria there. Um, I do see that it was single family, Bel Air with a private pool, um, so not foreclosure. So these were this was the criteria I had set up in Tempo or in Fusion that was just transferred here into Matrix. Now. It's not notifying anybody of anything. It's just saved. So if I wanted to reactivate this previously created <clears throat> search, what I would do is just click on the search name, just like I've done already. Then I'm going to click Settings. OK. Now, if you see up here in the top left-hand corner, it says turn this save search into an auto email. OK, so again, <clears throat> my matrix, saved searches, 
I'll click on the search name and then I will click on settings okay so for any previously created search in tempo or in fusion this is the process you're going to do you click on settings and then you'll click turn on the save search for an auto email now from this point it's actually pretty simple to do you just follow the steps top to bottom um, you'll see all the steps there to set up the auto email which I will go through with you guys in just a second uh, but the big thing here and the question I get the most is for the people that I had set up in Tempo or I had set up in Fusion, how can I set that up? And that is right here. My Matrix, Saved Searches, Settings, turn this saved search into an auto email and follow the steps from there. Okay? So not difficult to do at all. It's all saved there for you. It's just a matter of going in and reactivating it, essentially. Okay? So now I want to get into setting it up for a new client or a new customer so let me just kind of uh, check really quick for any questions that you guys have um, okay so I'm, I'm gonna answer your question Michael about the map and okay no other questions at this time so um, so I'm gonna keep going here and show you guys how to set it up for uh, a new client or a new customer okay so the process would basically be um, starting off just running a search, right? I need to go in and I need to put in my client's criteria, whatever their criteria is. So um, I'll come up here to search. Now in this, in this case, excuse me, I'm going to use single family, um, but you can do this for any other property type, okay? I'm just using single family today as an example, but if I'm wanting to do it for a rental, if I'm wanting to do it for a lot, you can have them auto notified of this, okay? All right, so in this case, I'm going to do single family. And I'm going to do the quick single family form. So I'll click on quick. <clears throat> so at this point, all I need to do is enter in my client's criteria. Now in the longer matrix classes, we kind of go through this form a little more in depth. I'll point out a couple things to you, um, but we're really just going to kind of breeze through this as if you already know how to run a search. Um, so if you guys have questions, you can definitely ask them, um, but I'm not going to spend as long as we would in a class because you're not here to learn about the form really you're here to learn about the process of setting up the auto email so in this case I need to put in my clients criteria so for my fictitious client here um, our price range is going to be let's say 300 to 400 thousand and they are looking for a minimum of four bedrooms now if you're not familiar maybe if this is the first time you've run a search just really quick uh, if you notice over these over here we have these question marks if you hover your mouse over that question mark I'm not sure if it was appearing to you guys uh, in this live format but if you hover your mouse over the question mark or click on the question uh, mark it will actually pop up <clears throat> excuse me, uh, some examples of how to use the numeric fields. The numeric fields in Matrix are different than they were in Tempo. So um, in this example, for example over here, if I'm wanting to do a range, I would just do, in this case, 300-400. Um, also, my client, my fictitious client, it needs a minimum of four bedrooms. So in that case, I'm going to put four plus so again if you haven't used these numeric fields just hover your mouse over those question marks and it'll explain how those work um, let's say that my client also does want a private pool so I'm going to put yes there and they want to be in League City so I'm going to put the League City geo market area alrighty so I've got my criteria in there. Uh, if you can see in the very bottom left-hand corner, it says I have 13 matches. Um, so I'm interested to go check out those matches now. Um, so there's two options. We have map and results. Uh, Michael, you were asking about map, integrating the map into um, the, the auto, auto email. And I absolutely can do that. Um, so you're going to want to use, if you see criteria map results, map results, you can click on either map or results down here or map or results up here at the top. It doesn't make a difference which one you click on. They take you to the same map and the same results. So I'm going to click on map and I see I have some matches on um, the east side of 45 and on the west side of 45. So if they were looking to live in East League City, maybe I wanted to draw on the map to just incorporate East 
League City or West League City. I could draw on the map to incorporate that. So to answer your question, Michael, yes, I can absolutely come in here and uh, maybe I want to select a certain mile radius from a particular point. Right, I could include that as criteria. Or maybe I want to draw a more specific polygon because in this case, they want to live on the east side of Leak City. So maybe I can just draw, and this isn't going to be exact, but just so you can see, I can just draw a particular shape. And now I see it's only going to cover anything within the shape here. So yes, I can incorporate the map into auto email. Now, um, this shape, before I delete this, this shape has become part of my criteria. So you see I did lose matches on this side of 45. That was the goal, right? So now I only have 10 matches. And if I go to the results screen, I'm only going to see 10 matches. So just remember, anything you draw on the map does become part of that criteria. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, though, for this case. But I just wanted you to see, since uh, someone did ask that question, it is very easy to just toggle between these three buttons here. Uh, it doesn't pop up a new window like it did in Tempo. Um, it's just right here, very seamless. Okay, so now I'm on my results screen. So I am going to do another live, um, another live session in a couple weeks covering all of the options down here on this long blue bar. This blue bar is actually called your button bar um, because of all the different buttons on it, right? Um, so I'm going to be covering everything on the button bar in just a couple weeks, but today we're focused on auto email, okay? So I can review my 13 matches here. I can click on the MLS numbers to see some information about them. I have all these little icons here that I can hover my mouse over to see different attachments and tax information, property archive reports. Again, all of that stuff we'll cover in different sessions, but today we're focused on auto email, right? Um, so again, right now I have 13 matches. Now, what I could do is just send these 13 matches to my client and that be that, right? But then I'm going to have to keep coming in here every day and running this search over and over again to look for new matches. Well, we don't want to do that. Essentially what auto email is going to allow you to do, it's going to allow you to run this search one time and then constantly the system, actually every 15 minutes there's a refresh, so constantly behind the scenes, the system is running the search for you, right? So it's doing that legwork for you, which is really, really helpful, right? Um, so uh, I, want to, I want to do that. I don't want to just select these 13 matches and email them. That's, that's just a one-time email, right? I want to set up auto email so they're notified whenever something new uh, matches this criteria or there's a change to one of these, right? Maybe one of these has a price change. Well, they'll get an update about it. So what I need to do to get there is go on over to save, okay? So on my button bar, we have actions, refine, save, and cart. So I clicked save, and now I'm gonna click new auto email. New auto email. So really, that's, that's the, the most difficult part is just finding this button. Um, save new auto email okay so now you're gonna see the same screen came up that came up earlier when I was setting one up for a previously a previously saved search one of the searches that you saved in tempo or fusion um, so this one's a brand new one though but it's gonna still be the same process in notifying them so let's just go through this really quickly um, so I need to select a contact anything in yellow is required so I need to select a contact so the system knows who to send this to so I can click there and find a contact that I already have saved in the system or click create a new contact and create a new contact there, okay? Um, that will then save that contact in Matrix. So I'm just gonna select a contact that I already have here in Matrix. Now I can carbon copy as many people as I want on this. If I wanna carbon copy their spouse, if there was, uh, if they wanna carbon copy my assistant or things like that, um, I can definitely do that. Okay, um, so BCC me a copy of all emails. I would probably recommend that you guys do that. Um, it'll, it'll just, because it's going to notify you when it notifies your client, okay? Um, now subject, I need to set a subject for the emails they're going to be receiving. So I could say something like properties in league 
city that match your criteria. Okay, uh, and now I have a welcome email and a recurring email. The welcome email, you can read through that, you can modify it, uh, but basically they get this just the first time. The recurring email they get whenever there's updates. Okay, so whenever there's updates to the system, they'll get this. I mean, updates to the matches, excuse me, they'll get this. Um, then I can review my criteria. Then we'll go to settings and schedule, okay? So on settings, um, this is new. We didn't have this in Tempo or Fusion, concierge mode. Essentially what concierge mode does, if you were to check this box, what concierge mode does is instead of your client getting um, updates for every property that matches their criteria, um, they will get, I will get a notification, excuse me, I will get a notification telling me there's a match for, you know, John Doe, click here to view it. Once I view that match for John Doe, I'll be able to accept uh, that match and he'll get notified, notified about it, or I can reject that match and he will not get notified about it. So it basically lets me filter the properties for my client. So if you check enable concierge mode, watch what happens to schedule though. Schedule has now gone away because if I've enabled concierge mode, I've basically said I don't want my client to get it ASAP or daily or what have you. I'm saying send it to me and then I will approve what actually gets sent to them and what doesn't, okay? So that is a new option. Again, it's optional. You don't have to do it. If you would like them to get everything, they can still get everything. Okay, so the other option is to make it a favorite search on my home tab. Um, that basically will just give me quick access to it on the home screen of Matrix. Now on schedule, you have ASAP. ASAP means ASAP. The system updates every 15 minutes, so they could get multiple emails uh, in a day if there's multiple changes that match their criteria. Daily, I have the option to do once daily or twice daily. And monthly, okay, they'll um, get an email the, the first the first of the month at midnight, so as often as you want or as uh, infrequently as you want, basically. So in this one, I'm going to go ahead and set it up ASAP and hit save. So that's it. I've set up the auto email, okay? Auto email is set up. Let me just kind of stop back here for just a moment and see if I have any other questions. So, Michael, to answer your question, can the map be sent along with the CMA in the sa uh, same, or the CMA? Oh, you're asking about CMA. I'm sorry. Okay, Michael, let me get back to your question uh, in just a little bit. I thought you were talking about on auto email. Sorry about that. The answer is yes, but it's just, it becomes a part of the, the report. <laughs> okay, so uh, Pam said you jumped ahead and already clicked daily schedule. Now it won't let you click uh, concierge. So I'm so glad you mentioned that because now I want to show you once I've set it up, how do I go back and change something to it? Okay, <laughs> if um, if if I maybe I did make a mistake and or maybe my client's criteria changed, right? How do I change the auto email? Also. Does it expire, okay? In Tempo, we could set a limit to how many days. Uh, in fact, you had to set a limit. You could do it the most six months, but um, you know, you had to set some kind of limit and that it was going to turn off. There is no expiration on this, okay? So it will continue to send until you actually physically go turn it off yourself. So to answer Pam's question, and I'm sure everybody else is gonna wanna know this too, um, I'll go to my matrix, I'll go down to contacts. Now, this is where I showed you earlier that it has all of my contacts from Tempo and Fusion and all new contacts I've created in Matrix, but don't just think of this as where you can add and delete contacts. Um, think of this as your contact management as far as Matrix is concerned because anything I can create for a client in Matrix or a customer in Matrix, I can manage it from the screen as well. So I just set up an auto email for this contact here. When I click on his name, I'll see anything I've done for him in Matrix. So any auto emails I've set up for him, uh, CMAs I've done for him, emails I've sent him. The system will even show me if he's ever viewed the emails I've sent him. Okay, um, so in this case, I did have an auto email set up for him before that I 
uh, that deactivated. So I'm just going to delete that really quick so you guys don't get confused here. So I just set up an auto email for him. Now maybe, like Pam said, I want to set up concierge mode instead of doing the ASAP or daily. Uh, or I want to change his criteria. Well, what I'm going to do is click on auto email. Click on his search here. And now I have a whole menu of options, okay? I can change the settings. So uh, in Pam's case, she had set it up for daily and she wants to change it to concierge mode. Well, if you click on settings, I can come down here and at this point hit enable concierge mode and it'll stop the daily, hit save and go ahead and approve everything. Okay, so that would be how I'd change any settings like this after the fact. Or maybe I set this client up for ASAP and maybe this, this market is, is just really active. He's getting way too many emails in a day. <laughs> and again, it'll only notify them when there's a change, but maybe he, he said, you know, I'm just getting too many emails so I can change it to daily. Or the opposite, maybe I had set them up for daily and you know, they're the kind of client, maybe they got upset with me because there's a property that came on the market two hours ago and I haven't told them about it yet, right? Well, they're more of an ASAP client in that case. So you can always come in here and change the settings after the fact. Um, criteria as well, let's say maybe uh, after setting this up for them, they said, oh, we forgot to tell you we want a one-story home, right? Well, I can click on criteria and go ahead and modify my criteria as well. Now, um, one other thing, <clears throat> so let's say they've closed on home. I no longer want them to receive this. Okay, there's um, a couple options on how you can turn this off, right? Because we said it doesn't expire like the one in Tempo and Fusion did, but I have to turn it off myself. So one way to do it is just to hit delete auto email, okay? Delete auto email will just completely delete this, this um, search that I set up so they're no longer getting notified, okay? Now, let's say maybe they haven't closed on a home, but they've gone under contract and maybe I don't want them to get notified of new properties while they're under contract. Maybe I want to just temporarily stop the auto email, okay? If I click on settings, you'll notice that one new thing that we didn't see earlier when we set this up initially was this enable disable option, okay? So right now it's enabled, but maybe they go under contract and I want to temporarily disable it so they stop getting notified. Okay, what that would do is, again, they stop getting notified, but it's not like delete auto email, right? If that contract falls through, well, I can just come back up in here, hit enable and re-enable it. We haven't lost anything. I don't have to set the search all over, up all over again. It's just basically on hold. So enable, disable, that's your option here as well. Um, open in portal. Um, I'll do another uh, live just about the client portal, um, the way the, uh, the settings are with, with what screens it lets me view. It won't let me show it to you now, but if you guys on your own click open in portal, you'll see the preview of what it will actually look like, what they'll be getting. Um, another thing I suggest for people to do is set it up to go to yourself as if you're the client. Set it up with a different email. Um, to go to maybe your, your personal email instead of your work email or whatever the case is um, so that you kind of see how it works as well because the, the, the portal that we have in Matrix, it's really so much better than what we had before in Tempo and Fusion, a lot more options, it's a lot more user friendly, a lot more engaging, so I think you guys uh, will like it. But on your own, you can click open in portal if you've set one of these up or again, set one up to go to yourself just to kind of test it out on yourself and see, see what you think. All right, I'm going to come back over. We're almost uh, done here, but I just want to check for uh, questions. So, Michael, when you set up or when you create a CMA, we're not doing CMA today. I can do a live for CMA down the road, or we do have CMA classes as well. Um, you can it will actually create a map for you that you can either email or print or anything like that. Um, Dana asks, does the client gateway look the same? It does not. Actually, I, I guess I already answered that question. Does not look the same. It looks much nicer. So again, go check out a preview of it. Um, you know, set this up as an example, or if you already have one set up, go check out the preview. I showed you guys where it is. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's see. None of my saved prospects transferred over. 
Okay, it, Jody, it could have been when they were saved, um, if it was um, a timing thing. Uh, it may, also, if you were doing an infusion versus tempo, there may have been an issue there. But if you want to um, email me, I'm going to put my information on the screen for you guys to see. Um, if you want to email me, you're welcome to, and I can kind of look in your account um, to maybe see uh, what may have happened there. So my email address is right here, christine at hr.com if you want to email me. Oops, I have three clients looking for the same property. Is there a way to set them up in one shot or do I need to set, set them up separately? Um, yeah, I would set them up separately unless, you know, because they're three different clients, you want them to get three different, um, three different auto emails. Yeah, they, I mean, so I would, I would set them up separately. Uh, can we see what the portal looks like? I'd love to show you what the portal looks like, but I think it won't actually let me pop it up on the screen the way that it does the screen. So go to um, contacts and click on open and portal if you already have one set up and you'll be able to see what it looks like. I'll do a separate um, live just about the portal and all the neat options for your clients. Can the search be sent by text? So not for auto email. You can definitely send text message. Um, just like you can email people properties, you can send them text messages. I'm going to go to my recent searches really quick and just pull this search back up. Um, so on actions, and again, we'll cover this in another uh, live, all of the options on your button bar. But since somebody asked, one of the options on the button bar is to text listings. Now, it's not going to auto notify them of matches. That's just a one, one time shot. It sends them that text message. So, yes and no, Pam. You can text them, but it's not going to do the auto email for text. Uh, on the quick CMA, they, it's not clickable anymore, Beatrice. So, that, that is not a feature that we have. I'd love a Facebook training on CMA. I will do that for you, Deborah. Yeah, if you guys have requests, again, I'll put my uh, email back up on the screen. Send me, send me requests for things that you want to see. Um, again, this was our first one, so uh, it, I'm happy to hear what you guys want to know. I mean, I, there's there's no point in doing these if you guys don't need the information, right? So let me know what you want to uh, see a live about, and I'll and I'll make that happen. Um, when the clients get their listings, can they mark what they like? They absolutely can, Deborah. They can mark favorites, um, they can mark possibilities, and they can also reject properties. What's great about when they reject a property is they don't get notified about that property anymore. So let's say I just absolutely hate 123 Main Street. Well, if I reject it, I won't get any more emails about 123 Main Street. If 123 Main Street has a price reduction, I don't have to hear about it because I've said I've, I've rejected that property already. All right. So I don't see, yeah, it is pretty nice. <laughs> okay, I don't see any other questions. I Hopefully I didn't miss anybody's question. Um, but if you guys do have more questions, again, my email's up on the screen there. Just Christina with no H at HAR.com. Um, shoot me an email with suggestions for more for future live uh, sessions or if you have questions just in general about matrix you can shoot me those questions as well at the very the very first comment that I put was the uh, information for our MLS quality assurance department I'm going to go ahead and share it again really quick um, you can also reach out to them we have a call center and that's what they do all day long is is answer your your matrix and realist uh, questions. Uh, so I just put their information again on there. Um, how can I view my client's gateway other than see seeing myself? Uh, when you go into my matrix contacts, click on that contact, click auto email. Um, when you click on open in portal, you'll see their their portal there and again the terminology has changed it's not called gateway it's uh, called portal so if you're looking for gateway you're not going to find it that's why I say that so uh, make sure you hit open in portal uh, and you'll be able to see uh, anything that's there location was removed Deb um, but we have um, as far as criteria is concerned um, we have a lot of options. Um, 
area, geo market area, master plan community subdivision, um, city. Actually, they, they, I think they added it on there. Um, so it used to just say city. <laughs> so there it is, Deb. <laughs> Location is right there by city. Are there different email templates you can choose from? So again, when I set it up, it um, had the uh, it had a template, right? It had a template there for a welcome email and for a recurring email. But if maybe I don't like the terminology, maybe it doesn't sound like me, you can type in here yourself and change it, right? So I can customize it. So yes, they have a template, uh, but you can create your own. And if you see this little gear icon here, you can then even, if I, maybe I change it and I want it to be changed for everybody going forward, I want it to remember that, I can set that as my default welcome. So I can customize the welcome email as well as the recurring email, okay, by clicking that little gear. Um, they're not going to put the labels for area, just the number, yeah. All right, I'm happy to see so many people happy. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this session. Um, again, I'll put my email back up on the screen for just a minute. Um, so those of you that didn't get it yet, if you have another question or maybe I missed your question somehow, uh, reach out to me, Christina at HR.com. Christina, there's no H in Christina, uh, but you can reach out to me there. Um, thank you guys again for joining. Uh, we'll be doing this again next Monday. Um, next Monday's session is uh, going to actually be at 3.30, 3.30 uh, p.m., and we're going to be covering quick search, okay? So, uh, again, email me other suggestions that you have for uh, future live events. We're going to be here every Monday. I will try to rotate around the times, uh, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at lunch, and sometimes in the afternoon. So, next week we'll be at 3.30. And, again, all of these sessions are recorded they're going to go up on HAR's Facebook page as a video, and we'll also have them on our YouTube channel, okay? Um, thanks again. I hope you guys have a great Monday uh, and a wonderful week. Take care.